Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Steve Wallace. I'm going to be your instructor for uh, college algebra online this semester. And um, I'll give you a little orientation into uh, our D2L or Brightspace page as, long, uh, as well as um, how to get on to Alex. Uh, so here's our course page. I want you to note the first thing you see probably are the announcements. I'm going to make one every week um, at least uh, to give you an idea what you're supposed to do for that week. Uh, read these and um, under, you know, it, also double check the course calendar uh, to make sure you're on pace with the, the, the schedule. This is a short session. Right. I mean, we're this is only eight week class, so uh, the pacing is twice as fast as as it would be in the fall or spring. So you're going to have to work a lot um, in Alex every day. OK, um, so although we're here in D2L, also known as Brightspace, uh, here's where your syllabus is and um, you'll need to read that really well. Uh, but. Um, where you're going to spend most of your time is in Alex, which is a, a, a different thing, but I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so objectives in Alex, that's something you're going to grade it on. Schedule knowledge checks, those are like quizzes. They're going to have happen uh, before every um, quiz or exam. All uh, all the exam, or sorry, all, all the exams. All exams all, all are proctored. Uh, using something called Respondus Monitoring um, and Lockdown Browser. This is free. Uh, all you'll need to do is probably, uh, if you haven't already done it for another class, you'll have to download it and install the application to your computer. Um, if you have a Chromebook, though, it does not work with that. So if you have one of those and you're going to do your, your math class in Chromebook, you're going to need to contact me as soon as possible. Use uh, the email application here in D2L um, whenever possible to contact me. That's the best way to contact me. Um, so in the first week, uh, this is very important, so you don't get counted as a no-show. You will need to take the entry quiz, which is here in D2L. It's the only a uh, graded item um, that is uh, in not in Alex and then click Alex. OK, uh, here's another place where you can get to it. So if you click Alex using this thing right here, you will not have to pay for it yet. OK, we um, use inclusive access in this class, which means um, you don't have to buy uh, an access code or a textbook for this class. Uh, after the drop ad period um, expires, the uh, cost for the the use of Alex um, will be added to your bursar account. So you need to pay that sometime during the term, so you'll be able to register for courses for the next semester and not have any holds. Okay, the easiest thing ever to do in this class is to get through the entry quiz and set up your um, Alex account uh, because all you have to do is click there and click there. The rest is self-explanatory. You will need to also complete the initial knowledge check, which is something you have to do in Alex when you're setting up your account anyway, and then uh, do what's something called the system check quiz, which is basically uh, getting you set up for your proctored exams using lockdown browser okay and uh respondents monitoring you'll need a a webcam and a, a a microphone if you don't have one already installed on your computer uh you can get one that plugs into your computer with a with an usb um port it, it's not too hard to get installed but that will be necessary. OK, let me show you what happens when you click on Alex. So you'll need to launch it in a new window. 
what you will see um, is more like what I'm going to see here. So the first thing happens, you'll be taken to a uh, series of tutorials and orientation uh, to the system, okay? Uh, take a two tools tutorial. It'll help you, help you figure out how to enter uh, data into the, the um, boxes and whatnot, okay? That, that you should be able to get through no problem um, without a graph also. Once you do that, then you'll need to start your initial knowledge check. OK, this is important. Uh, that you take it seriously. Sorry, that's my button. Excuse me. Um, if if there are uh, problems on here that you know how to use how to do do them okay uh like if you don't know anything about how to how to some uh how to do this problem here you can click i don't know but if you do have some idea you need to try to get it right because if you get things right um on here that means you have fewer things to do uh when you get out of it okay so see, I, I let's say I got a couple things right uh, on the national knowledge check. Stop it. All right. And so look, it's it's said I've mastered 144 of the 226 topics that we have to do. OK, which means that's a lot fewer problems I have to do in learning mode. OK. Um, each piece here uh, is uh, a aspect of the course, and th they are not necessarily lined up in um, objectives according to this pie, but as you move through a uh, learning mode, so if you go start my path, pre-11-11 topics, uh, what you have to do is, um, what you'll first see is a uh, explanation for what the topic is. This is like how you're learning. This is this is the content. There are no lectures in here unless you want to view the videos for each uh, individual problem. Um, you can go to the textbook uh, here also, and a link to a calculator when it's allowed will be here. But uh, what you do need to know is that you in order to master a topic you have to get it correct three times in a row once you do that then it adds to your pie so if i go um if i go back yeah if i go back back here right once i get a topic mastered it will add to my pie and uh, that percentage okay is uh, by the end of the semester is uh, graded it's a it's a graded assignment um, or it's a graded grade item in your final grade here five percent of the grade is for your overall completion so the overall number of topics mastered divided by that 226. <clears throat> Another thing that you have to do is there are individual due dates for every objective in Alex. So if you go to the calendar, they are listed here to let you know basically when you should be doing those things. For example, the pre 1111 topics are due by the 26th. That's super fast, I know, but if you do the the um, initial knowledge check well, there shouldn't be a lot of these prerequisite topics that you need to um, go back over. OK, every time you have a knowledge check. It's possible that you could add things to your pie or you could take things out and Alex will re require you to to review those topics that you didn't quite learn. Um, 
the review knowledge checks are scheduled knowledge checks. Those are like quizzes. Those are graded. OK. If you look at your assignments list um, right now, the only one available to me is this one. But if I. Um, uh, if I went out of here and went to the instructor view again, it would it would tell me I have a uh, system check quiz that that I need to do and um, a uh, review knowledge check that will be available on the 7th. OK, you have a, a couple attempts to to do to complete the review knowledge check, I think. Um, let me see. I might be getting confused with my other classes. But period, you know, let me get back to what I was saying. By the due date for each objective, you need to complete all of the the topics that are in that objective. So if I go to learning mode, ah, dang it, clicking on the wrong thing. You click down here, right? You can filter by. Um, Oh, you can filter here by the objective. OK, so you want to do pre 11 11 topics first. When it's time to do objective one, you'll do objective one. Um, you need to complete those uh, as well as you can uh, before the due date, and then uh, that score will go into this grade for uh, objectives and Alex right here is 15% of your grade. OK, basically go to Alex work problems you will be fine, OK? When it comes to all the other stuff, I will uh, have more announcements and explain that stuff as we go. The system. Um, uh, the system check quiz, uh, you'll need to do that also. Uh, and. If you have any questions about that, send me an email once again, use the email application here in D2L. Uh, that's the best way to um, contact me. So uh, it'll be great to meet you, and uh, we're going to have a great term. Bye.